Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can save a worksheet from the Google search engine and save it on and place it on a Google Slides or Jamboard to work with it at a later time. So I'll just get started right now. The first thing you are going to do is come to the search bar here. And let's say you want to work with a um, sequencing graphic organizer. You're going to hit um, enter after you type it in the search bar and it's going to give you a ton of options. Basically, you go to images, you can select whatever you like. I like this one, it's nice and big. It seems very dark and easy to read. It's legible, so I'm going to select this one. But I also like this one too. So I think I'm going to go with this one for now. And But if you want to try it, you can go with this one too, whatever works. Uh, everybody has a different preference. And sometimes it's just hard to make up our mind anyway. And so basically, I'm going to right click on my um, keyboard. And I'm going to save image as. I'm going to call it GP1 for graphic organizer 1. You can call it whatever you want. And basically, I'm going to, now it's on our desktop. You have the link here. And let's just go back to the desktop. As you can see, it is right over here. So now you have it to work with. So let's go back to our workspace. So here we have, um, let's create, let's open a new page and let's go to Google Slides. And let's go to a blank template. I'm going to delete all my distractions that I don't need. Click and delete. And click and delete. Let's close up this menu too since we're not using it right now. And once we are here, um, I would like to make my graphic organizer my background so the students can work on it directly. So I'm going to go to background and I'm going to go to choose image. Now we have all these options to select from, but I'm going to select from my computer. So I just have to go here and browse. Once I select a browse, I'm going to see my option. I'm going to select it. And it's my background now. It doesn't look so bad. It looks legible. It's um, in, and the students can work on it. So let's keep working with it. Now, basically, like I showed you in the last video, if you are unsure that if it's locked or not, you can lock it by going to File, Download, saving it as an image, and then basically um clicking background resetting your background and then clicking background again choosing an image um and basically at this point just dropping and dragging or dragging and dropping and once you do that you are done it is now locked in place nobody can move it and you can give your students workable text boxes so they can write in it and they have the option to manipulate it and write on it as they choose uh, as they choose because basically everybody uh, on their workspace is going to have this menu option so um, the students will you can show them that this is the text box that's how you add text and things like that so basically you are just going to at that point um, type on it and you know um, that's going to be your work. Let's say multiple students are working um, together and things are going to get a little messy. So for identifying purposes, we are going to name this one. So let's just call it Jay Smith. So Jay Smith told us this about what happened first. Now you're going to select, let's say, um, M, you know, Parsons for uh, the what happened next portion of the work. So let's say M Parsons wrote that. And M Parsons is going to sign off now. So that's something that you can do. So this becomes now something um, engaging, interactive, 
And it's a little fun to work with because it's not monotonous. You're not just continuously presenting and they're not just getting bored or playing behind the screen. And the best thing to do is basically assign um, each student something different. So somebody can work on the first, somebody can work on the next, somebody can work on the last and sign off their names. That way you can see who did what. And basically, if you share this, if you go to share, you will, um, so we didn't title it, so let's give it a title. And let's call it um, graphic demo. Sorry, graphic organizer demo. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to copy the link, but before I do, I'm just going to see if my students have editing rights, and they do. So I'm just going to create my link. Mm, and here we are. And so the link is copied, so I'm going to say done. In my last video, I showed you how to um, add it onto the Google Classroom page um, through the add uh, icon and selecting from your drive. Today, right now, I'll just show you how to embed it into the workspace. So let's do that. Let's create a new, um, let's create a new uh, assignment in our classroom. So basically, I'm just going to select classroom. And I'm going to now come back to my class here and go to, yes, got it, thank you. And so I'm going to go to classwork and I'm going to go to create assignment. And let's call it graphic organizer interactive lesson. And you can call it whatever you like. Um, so basically, I'm going to say password directions, or maybe you can do it as a do now. That will be pretty cool to do as a do now. It's interactive, it's engaging. So let's say, um, click on the link below and get started with the graphic organizer. Now, this graphic organizer is pretty self-explanatory, but if you still need to further explain it for your students, you can do that, and you can continue um, explaining here uh, on the directions section. And so sometimes our um, students might be confused, like, what is this message? Let's say this is your do now directions. And so they're not confused anymore. It's pretty clear and concise. And so if you want to embed the link into the body, you can just control V or um, paste it like you would normally by right clicking. And select and paste. Um, so I don't need it two times, so I'm just going to control V or undo it. And that's the link that they have to work with. But I want to take it one step further. I don't want them arguing with the same space and then that they don't have enough space to work on. So I'm going to go to Add. And I'm going to go to Google Drive and select my slide from here and insert it. Once I insert it, it uh, becomes visible for all of them, but I'm going to change it from view file to make a copy for each student so they can have their own workspace to work with. And this one, I'm not going to schedule. I want them to have it right away, so I'm just going to assign it. But like I said in my last video, you also have that option to schedule it. So let's say if you want to edit it, uh, once you schedule it, uh, you can make uh, edits on here but you cannot change the date. So then you would have to pretty much, um, I guess, remove it by deleting it and then doing the whole process all over again and scheduling it in that way. And to schedule it, let's go back to one of these right here. And um, pretty much you just have to go here. And that's all you have to do for scheduling. Now, my date and time is set, so I don't have to worry about anything. So I just click schedule and it just continued saving it um, until the time comes for it to present it to my students. 
I hope this video was helpful. As you can see, um, we can take uh, images from uh, Google and pretty much manipulate it to fit our needs and um, make it something workable for our kids. So I hope you have a, a wonderful day and enjoy learning with me and um, see you next time in my video. Bye-bye.